Hello everyone. We are now on Lecture 2 in General Mathematics. And today, we will tackle about operations on functions. In operations on functions, we have this learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to solve the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and composition of functions. Before that, mag-review muna tayo on addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. At ito yung mga steps na kailangan natin gawin. Una, find the least common denominator or yung LCD of both fractions. Pangalawa, rewrite the fractions as equivalent fractions with the same LCD. Pangatlo, the LCD is the denominator of the resulting fractions. Pangapat, the sum or difference of the numerators is the numerator of the resulting fraction. For example, meron tayong dalawang rational expressions. We have here a over b plus c over d. To perform the operations, we need to find first the LCD of the two rational expressions. And the LCD of, the, of this is bd. After that, ang bd ay divide natin sa b, magre-result yan ng d times a, you'll have a d. Then, observe that the operation that has been used here is addition, so this must be addition or plus. After that, you need to divide bd divided by d, you will produce b times c, you'll have here bc. So this is now our answer. Now, magbibigay din tayo ng ibang example. Find the sum of 2 over x minus 2 and 3 over x plus 3. To solve this operations, what we need to do is we need to find the LCD of the two rational expressions. And the LCD of this is just x minus 2 times x plus 3. E alam na natin ang LCD, ang kailangan natin ay isulat siya sa denominator. So yung denominator natin, i-divide natin sa x minus 2, ang result nun ay x plus 3. I-multiply natin sa 2, so ito yung result natin. Then, itong x minus 2 times x plus 3, ay i-divide natin ng x plus 3, then ang result niyan ay x minus 2. I-multiply natin sa 3, so you'll have 3 times x minus 2. After niyan, ay i-distribute natin to. So we need to apply distributive property. So you have 2 times x, you'll have positive 3x. 2 times 3, you'll have positive 6. Then you'll have positive 3 times x, you'll have positive 3x. And positive 3 times negative 2, you'll have negative 6. Over the LCD, which is just x minus 2 times x plus 3. Observe that there are common terms or like terms. Since there are like terms, what we need to do, we need to combine like terms. So we have 2x plus 3x, you'll have 5x. Positive 6 minus 6, you'll have 0. So hindi na lang natin siya sinulat. Over the LCD, which is x minus 2 times x plus 3. So this is our final answer. Now we will proceed on multiplying algebraic expressions. At ito yung mga steps para magamit natin to. Una, i-rewrite natin ang numerator and denominator in terms of prime factors. Pangalawa, common factors is in the numerator and denominator can be simplified often called as cancelling. Pangatlo, multiply the numerators together to get the numerator Multiply the denominators together to get the new denominator. For example, meron tayo dito dalawang rational expressions. Since itong dalawang rational expressions are simplified na siya, so we will now proceed to step 3. So we need to multiply numerator times numerator, you'll have AC. Then denominator times denominator, you'll have BD. So we have the final answer, AC over BD. Now, we will proceed to another example. Find the product of x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x squared plus 4x plus 3 and x squared minus x minus 6 over x squared minus 4. Observe that these rational expressions 
can be factored. So, we need to think of the factors of these expressions. So, the factors of this, especially for x squared plus 3x plus 2, is just x plus 1 times x plus 2. For x squared plus 4x plus 3, you'll have x plus 1 times x plus 3. For the second rational expressions, the factor of x squared minus x minus 6 is just x plus 2 times x minus 3. Observe in the denominator that this is of the form of difference of two squares. So this means that this can be factored out by x plus 2 times x minus 2. After we found out the different, the different prime factors, we need to find the common terms. At ang common terms na observe natin ay ang x plus 1 at saka x plus 2. Ang gagawin natin yan, i-cancel natin yan. At ang natira sa numerator ay i-record natin which is x plus 2 times x minus 3 sa numerator at sa denominator ay x plus 3 times x minus 2. At ito na yung answer natin. Pwede din natin siyang i-expand at pwede natin siyang masulat as x squared minus x minus 6 over x squared plus x minus 6. Ngayon magpuproceed tayo sa division of algebraic expressions. Sa pag-divide nito, for example, meron tayong a over b divided by c over d. Ang gagawin natin, i-change natin to into multiplication form. Para ma-change yan, a over b, we need to multiply it with the reciprocal of the divisor. And this can be written as d over c. Since it is in multiplication form, ang pwede na niyan, pwede na natin i-multiply yung numerator times numerator, you'll have ad. Denominator times denominator, you'll have bc. This is now your answer. For example, meron kang 2 over x plus 1 divided by 3 over x plus 2. So we need to transform this one to multiplication. So this becomes 2 over x plus 1. At ang nangyari sa denominator ay nasulat siya in a form na reciprocal niya. So you have x plus 2 over 3. Dahil multiplication na yan, so pwede na natin multiply. So this becomes 2 times x plus 2 over 3 times x plus 1. So, ngayon, mag-discuss na tayo sa ating main na topic. Functions can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided. Such procedures are called operations on functions. Ang operations on functions ay tinatawag din siya algebra of functions. Kung ma-observe natin na dito, meron kang dalawang functions na kailangan. At sisimulan natin yan sa addition of functions. In addition of functions, given two functions, f of x and g of x, their sum denoted by f plus g of x is the function defined by f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. For the subtraction of functions, given two functions, f of x and g of x, their difference is denoted by f minus g of x is the function defined by f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Let's see. Magbibigay tayo ng example. So, given meron kang function of x na 3x squared plus 22x minus 16, at yung g of x natin is equal to 2x squared minus 7x minus 30. At if I find natin yung sum at yung difference ng functions f and g. So, let's start with addition of functions. So, remember natin yung concept niya na yung f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. After that, we substitute natin yung mga values na corresponding itong mga functions na to. For the f of x, we have 3x squared plus 22x minus 16. The operation used is addition, and you'll have for the g of x, 2x squared minus 7x minus 30. After nyan, tatanggalin natin yung mga parentheses. So, mangyari nyan, you'll have 3x squared 
plus 22x minus 16. Positive times positive, you'll have positive 2x squared. Positive times negative 7x, you'll have negative 7x. Positive times negative 30, you'll have negative 30. And after that, we need to observe if there are common or like terms. And observing here, we have 3x squared plus 2x squared with a degree of 2. So that becomes 5x squared. 22x minus 7x, that is 15x. And negative 16 minus 30, you'll have negative 46. So this is now our answer. Now, for us to find the domain of the function f plus g of x, we need to look on the values of x if there are restrictions in the domain. So we notice that there are no restrictions. Therefore, the domain of f plus g of x is just the set of all real numbers. For the subtraction, we have f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. After that, we need to substitute here. We have here 3x squared plus 22x minus 16 for our f of x. And the operation used now is subtraction. So we have here. After that, we need to proceed to the g of x. We have 2x squared minus 7x minus 30. Ang tip dito, dapat maging careful tayo, especially kapag ang operation na ay subtraction. Kasi pwede kasing mag-change ang sign. So, para matanggal ang, ati, ang mga parenthesis dito. So, we need to write here, 3x squared plus 22x minus 16. Pero dito, negative times 2x squared, it becomes negative 2x squared. Negative times negative 7x, what happens? Na-change siya from negative, nagiging positive 7x. Negative times negative 30, you'll have positive 30. After that, kailangan natin combine yung mga like terms. So we have here 3x squared minus 2x squared, you will have x squared. 22x plus 7x, you'll have 29x. Negative 16 plus 30, you'll have positive 14. And this is now our answer. Now, if we are to find the domain of f minus g of x, we need to find its restrictions. Pero na-observe natin, walang restrictions that will make the function undefined. So therefore, it is just a set of all the numbers. Magbibigay din tayo ng ibang example na iba yung uh, expressions. So we have f of x is equal to x over x plus 1, which is a rational expression. And g of x, which is just equal to x cubed. Kung if find natin yung sum at saka yung difference niya, ang mangyari ay ganito. Let's start with addition. So, same pa rin. I-apply natin yung concept natin that it must be equal to f of x plus g of x. After niyan, i-substitute natin to. So, we have x over x plus 1 plus the x cubed for the g of, g of x. Since ang isa ay rush since ang isang expression ay rational expressions at ang isa ay hindi, so therefore, kailangan natin i-find yung LCD. At ang LCD ng x plus 1 at saka yung 1 is just x plus 1. After that, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is just equal to 1 times x. You'll have x is 1. Then the operation used is addition. So you'll have addition here. Then x plus 1 divided by 1 is just equal to x plus 1 times x plus 3, you'll have uh, x cubed, so you'll have here x cubed. Rather. After that, we need to apply distributive property. So, i-distribute natin to. So, simula muna, uh, i-distribute natin to. So, mangyari, x cubed times x, you'll produce the x to the fourth. x times 1, you'll have x cubed. So, after nyan, tatanggalin natin yung parenthesis. So, mangyari, you'll have x plus x to the fourth plus x cubed over x plus 1. We observe na sa tatlong terms na to, meron silang common. At ang common niyan ay ang value na x. So, pwede siyang masulat as x times 1 plus x cubed plus x squared over x plus 1. And this is now our answer. At ang pag-find ng dumi nito, 
ng sum of the functions f and g, na notice natin na it is just the set of all real numbers except negative 1. Why is it except negative 1? It is because the expression that we have is a rational expression. And our g of x here, or our denominator here, must not be equal to 0. Because if this would be equal to 0, this will make the function undefined. At kapag i-substitute natin ang negative 1 dito sa value ng x, magiging 0 to. At ayun magiging 0 to, magiging undefined. So yan ang restriction natin. So now we will proceed on the subtraction. For the difference of the functions f and g. So same pa rin, follow natin yung concept that it must be written as f of x minus g of x. So we have x over x plus 1 minus x cubed. Since rational expression po, we need to find its LCD. So ang LCD ay x plus 1. So x plus 1 divided by x plus 1, you'll have 1 times x, you'll have x. Then the operation used is subtraction or the minus sign. So after that, you need to find the LCD x plus 1 divided by, oh, you need to so the other terms, you have x plus 1 divided by 1 is just equal to x plus 1 times x cubed. You'll have this as a result. After that, you need to apply distributive property. So x cubed times x, that will be resulted to x to the fourth. And x cubed times 1, you'll have x cubed. Now, what we need to do here is we need to be very careful with this. Kung tatanggalin natin, Yung mga parentheses, maging careful tayo kasi mag-change kasi yung mga sign. So, what happens here? X, so negative times positive, you'll have negative x to the fourth. Negative times positive x cubed, you'll have negative x cubed over x plus 1. And notice, mayroon din silang common factor. So, pwede siyang ma-factor out as x times 1 minus x cubed minus x squared over x plus 1. So, ito na yung answer natin. Next ang yan, ifa-find natin yung domain. So, same pa rin, since this is a rational expression, yung form niya, so hindi pwede na yung sa denominator ay mag equal sa 0 because it will make the function undefined. So, our domain here is just all real numbers, the set of all real numbers except negative 1. So we will now proceed on multiplication of functions. Given two functions, f of x and g of x, their product denoted by f times g of x. Is the function defined by f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x? For the division of functions, given two functions, f of x and g of x, their quotient is denoted by f divided by g of x. Is the function defined by f divided by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x? For example, meron tayong function na f na 3x plus 1 at yung function g natin ay 5x minus 4. So kung ifa-find natin yung product at saka yung quotient niya, so ganito yung pag-solve. Sisimulan natin sa concept ng multiplication of functions na meron tayong f of x times g of x. After that, substitute natin yung mga values ng mga functions f and g. So we have 3x plus 1 at saka 5x minus 4. Since binomial term man to at saka ito binomial, pwede natin applyan ng FOIL method or pwede mo din isa-isahin mo na i-multiply. So you could have 3x times 5x, you will have 15x squared. 3x times negative 4, you'll have negative 12x. 1 times 5x, you'll have positive 5x. And 1 times negative 4, you'll have negative 4. Observe that there are like terms. So, pwede natin silang i-combine. So, you'll have 15x squared minus 7x minus 4. So, this is now our answer. Now, para i-find natin yung domain, observe na wala din siyang restrictions. So therefore, our domain of f times g of x is just the set of all real numbers. For the quotient or division, so we have f divided by g of x is just equal to f of x divided by g of x. 
So since ang f of x natin ay 3x plus 1, ang g of x natin ay 5x minus 4, wala na siyang ibang factors at saka hindi na din siya pwedeng mag-cancel out kasi magkaiba din sila. So this is now our answer. And to find the domain of that, take note that our domain of f divided by g of x is just all real, the set of real numbers except 4 fifth. Why 4 fifth? It is because our g of x here must not be equal to 0 because if this would be equal to 0, it will make the function undefined. So this would be the process. 5x minus 4 must not be equal to 0. So you need to transpose that. We need to divide it by 5 and you'll have cancel that you'll have x must not be equal to 4 fifth. Therefore, our domain is the set of all real numbers except 4 fifth. Now let's try another example. Given f of x is equal to 2 over x and g of x is equal to 3 over x squared. So both are rational expressions. So to find the product, and quotient of this. So we need to apply this concept for multiplication that numerator times numerator is just equal to AC. Then denominator times denominator, you'll have the BD. So we need to substitute. So we need to apply the product, the concept. So you have f of x times g of x. Then substitute 2 over x times 3 over x squared. So numerator times numerator, you'll have 6. Denominator times denominator, you'll have x cubed. And this is now our answer. To find the domain of this, take note that the denominator must not be equal to 0 because if this would be equal to 0, this will become undefined. So therefore, the domain of the function f times g of x is just a set of real numbers except 0 because the 0, it will make the function undefined. For the quotient, we'll have here the concept of f divided by g of x is just equal to f of x divided by g of x. So substitute, you have 2 over x for the numerator divided by 3 over x squared for the denominator, which stands for our function g. So since this is division and these are rational expressions, then what we need to do, we need to change this one to multiplication. So what we need to do, you have 2 over x. Imo-multiply lang natin to sa reciprocal ng divisor. So you'll have x squared over 3. And since multiplication form naman to, pwede na natin i-multiply yung 2 times x squared. You'll have 2x squared over 3 times x. You'll have 3x. Since meron silang common, so pwede natin makancel yung x, so you'll have 2x over 3, that is our final answer. And for our domain here, you have the domain of f divided by g of x is just equal to the set of all real numbers. Another is we have the linear and we have the quadratic. So for example, we have the function f as linear and the function g as quadratic. To find the quotient and its product, so this would be the process. So, you'll have for the f of x times g of x, you'll have to substitute this one for our function f and for our function g. So, you have x plus 1 times x squared minus 1. So, you need to multiply this one term by terms. So, you'll have x times x squared, you'll have x cubed. x times negative 1, you'll have negative x. Positive 1 times x squared, you'll have positive x squared. And positive 1 times negative 1, you'll have negative 1. Or you can just use the FOIL method. And try to look, there are no like terms. So as is, this would be the answer. You can also rearrange your answers from highest degree to the lowest degree. Now, the domain of these functions, take note that there would be no restrictions in this case. So therefore, this is just the set of all real numbers. For the quotient, we have here f divided by g of x. So we need to apply the concepts of, the, of quotient. So we have x plus 1. So for the linear, for the function f, and for the function g, which is a quadratic, 
So we need to take note that kung merong pwedeng ma-factor, i-factor na natin. So na-notice natin that these are just difference of two squares. So this can be written as x plus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. Kung titingnan natin, meron silang common terms. So pwede natin ma-apply yung process ng cancellation. So we have here, this would be cancelled out, so you'll have 1 over x minus 1 as our answer. To find its domain, take note that the only value that will make the g of x or the denominator becomes equal to 0, it's only the value 1. So therefore, our domain here is just a set of all real numbers except 1. Now we will proceed to the composition of functions. The procedure is called composition because the new function is composed of the two given functions, f and g, where one function is substituted to the other. This can be illustrated using this illustration. For example, you have an x. You will input that x to the function g that becomes g of x. And this g of x, if this will be inputted in the function f, that will result to an output which is just the f of g of x that is called as composition of functions. Now for the definition of composite functions, the composition of the function f with the function g is, this can be written as the composition of the function. This can be read as f of g of x and this can be written also as like this form, so you have f of g of x. The domain of f of g is the set of all x in the domain of g, such that g of x is in the domain of f. Take note, f of g of x is not equal to g of f of x. Now let's try some examples. Given function f equals to x minus 1, which is linear. We have function g, which is quadratic. Then find f of g of x and g of f of x. So to solve for the composition of function, we need to use the concept of f of g of x. Since the g of x is inside the parenthesis of the function f, that means the g of x will be substituted to the function f. So, our g of x here is equal to x squared minus 1. This expression will be substituted to the function f. So, we have here x squared minus 1 substituted the x here to the x. Then you'll have minus 1. Then, combine like terms, or combine like terms, you'll have x squared minus 2. And this is now our final answer. So to, the, to find the domain of this, the domain of f of g of x is just a set of all real numbers. For the g of f of x, so take note, the first letter here is g, and inside the parenthesis is the f of x. This means that the f of x is substituted in the function g. So our f of x is equal to x minus 1. So the x minus 1 is substituted to the function f, function g, I mean. So our function g is this form. So you have x minus 1 squared minus 1. So this one can be expanded. So you'll have to square the first term, you'll have x squared. Product of the two, x times negative 1 is negative x times 2 you'll have negative 2x plus 1. Then you'll have here the minus 1. Then combine like terms, you'll have x squared minus 2x. So this can be factored out because there are common factors. Common factor, which is the value x, you'll have x times x minus 2. And our final answer is this one. To find its domain, take note that there are no restrictions here. So this is just the set of all real numbers. So let's just say we have to find same para na functions, pero ang ifa finite f of f of x and g of g of x. To solve that, take note f of f. That means the function f 
is substituted in the function f. So you'll have x minus 1 as our function f. Substituted to the function f, so you'll have x minus 1 minus 1. Then take the parentheses, tatanggalin natin yung parentheses, ang mangyari ay x minus 1 minus 1. So combine natin yan, so you'll have x minus 2. So this is now our answer. Now to find the domain of f of f of x is just equal to the set of all real numbers. Now for the g of g of x, take note that the g of x is substituted in the function g. So our g of x here is x squared minus 1 substituted to the function g. So that becomes x squared minus 1 squared minus 1. This can be expanded as x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. Why? Because the square of this is x to the fourth. The product of the two is negative x squared. Times 2, you'll have negative 2x squared. Then the square of this, you'll have positive 1. Then you'll have here the minus 1. Then take the parentheses, tatanggalin natin yung parentheses. At pagtatanggalin natin yan, mangyari ay x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1 minus 1. Combine natin yung pwedeng makombine. So you have x to the fourth minus 2x squared. Take note na meron silang common factor. So ang common factor ay x squared. So pwede natin masulat as x squared times x squared minus 2. This is now our answer. To find its domain, wala naman tong restriction, so these are just the set of all real numbers. What if ang function f natin ay mayroon siyang radical at yung isa ay quadratic? So what we need to do? So to solve for the function, for to solve for the f of g of x, we need to use the concept, this one. After that, yung g of x natin, i-substitute natin sa function f, which is just this one. So, yung g of x is substitute sa function f. So, to yung g of x natin, which is x minus 2 squared. So, i-substitute natin dito sa x ng f. So, you'll have this 1 as square root of x minus 2 squared. Since square root man to at saka square root to, so, pwede natin siyang masimplify as x minus 2 using the concepts of this. So, this is now our answer. So, to find the domain of this, it's also the set of real numbers because there are no restrictions that will make the functions undefined. So, how about for the g of f of x? So, g of f of x. So, that means the f of x, the second, this one, g of f of x. The f of x is substituted in the function g. So, our f of x is square root of x substituted to the g of x so this is our f of x substituted to the g of x which is this one so you'll have square root of x minus 2 squared we need to expand this so we need to square this one so you'll have this one product of the two which is negative 2 x squared times 2 so this must be negative 4 x our uh, negative negative 4 square root of x plus 4. So, we can now have an answer here, which is this one can be simplified. So, this is just x minus, this must be 4, square root of x plus 4. So, there are just te some technical problems. These two here must be equal to, must be 4. Because these two, 2, Negative 2 times square root of x is negative 2x times 2. So you'll have negative 4 square root of x plus 4. And this is now our answer. So meron lang correction. So this must be x minus 4 square root of x plus 4. So our domain here, it must be 0 to positive infinity. Why? It is because the square root of x, it must be non-negative or it must be greater than 0. So, you'll have 0 to positive infinity with inclusion. Okay. So, I hope you learned a lot for today and 
especially on operations and functions and composition on functions. So thank you and God bless.